Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Gary Grigsby's War in the West with me, Lord Cucumber. Okay, we are about to end our turn. I don't know if it's wise, but that's what we're doing. Okay, these mountainous areas are a gap. These mountainous areas are a gap, but they're covered for... So I'm not too worried about those. Um, yeah, I'm kind of worried about not having... The ability to hold this line properly but we'll have to wait and see also <clears throat> I noticed that I actually didn't punch through these uh, areas here where we could have captured headquarters after headquarters after headquarters which are now going to be properly defended once I hit the end turn button which was stupid of me I just I went for the big prize and that's the rivers here and uh, and of course uh, Rennes and Mont, Mont Saint, whatever it is Montfort sur Mieux there we are and <clears throat> and um, uh, Avranche and everything I shouldn't have done that I uh, was stupid but I did when I did and Le Mans I also could have captured Le Mans but I did not it was dumb all right all right so that's that's what's going on anyway. We do really, really, really need to start shipping some of these units over. Um, let's see, that's this 21st Army Group. 1st U.S. Army Corps. We also need to move them to the freaking um, port. I guess Southampton would do. I think so. Can we put them in naval transport instantly? We can. And we can even get them down here. So we will. We are going to put them in the port there. And hopefully then uh, they'll be able to uh, get some supplies in. But we'll have to wait and see. Oh, that's exactly not the button I was looking for. There we go. This is the button I was looking for. Now we will see how Germany reacts. And I suspect they will start reinforcing this railway line towards Paris. Which is what I would do if I were the Germans. I mean, Le Havre, beautiful to have that. But... Um, Getting cut off from Paris and the rest of uh, the east of Europe, Amiens, Abbeville, all those, you know, Saint Quentin, all this. Behind the uh, water here in the Picardies would be, ah, uh, well, disastrous, if anything. But we'll see. We'll see what the enemy does, and we'll see if there's any going to be any counterattacks. It's going to be an air directive, of course. There they go. They're taking more losses than we. For the first time in a very long time. Good. There we are. And here we go. Yep. They are indeed moving around. Reinforcing this particular spot. I figured they might. But it doesn't matter. We'll get Bretagne and everything with the Canadians. We're going to be just fine. Okay, they evacuate exposed flak units. Apparently they also have that order. <laughs> I didn't know that. That was raining. Great job. That'll make our air turn a lot less interesting. Obviously flying in rain. In On the 25th of July 1944 is a bit more challenging. We'll have to wait and see how this ends though. Here we are. All right, so uh, we've got the air directive set by the AI. I'm going to regenerate that, see if that uh, does anything for us. Automatically set air directives. There we go. And we're going to just go through with it. Yes. Okay, they're bombing. Bombing units. That's great. As I suspected, they pulled all of those headquarter units out. We, we had a chance of grabbing them, but there's no chance of grabbing them now. They've all pulled back to Paris, looks like. The way may be open for us to move out. That is fantastic. Alright, I don't know how to, what, what the situation in Italy is, but I feel that the Germans are on the run. Which... Inevi inevitably would be good news for us. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put the headquarter units in the port first. Alright, we're making new photographs of where everything is. Okay. Our losses are mounting as well. Wow. 
Okay, those units are bombed. Defending units. We are heading for Paris. We are heading for Paris. And Paris is going to be a major thing for the Free French here. As they were historically, uh, of course, uh, the first to actually enter Paris, um, if I recall correctly. Paris was actually liberated by French, almost exclusively. Uh, Allies helped, of course, but... And, uh, when there was word out that there was going to be a liberation happening, the French actually took up arms in uh, Paris. There was quite some heavy fighting going on there between Germans that were still there um, and um, the local resistance fighters uh, you know the numbers swelled okay they've taken a new line near Tia between Co and Paris that line so quickly cerned Le Havre is being bombed Monsieur. Yeah, we're going to have some interesting time breaking out of Normandy. But we are going to probably use the Seine as our new front line if we can. And whoever is caught behind that front line will be smacked in the face. Yeah, we've got some interesting info on the enemy here. Wonderful. Thank you for the info. Okay, looks like that's it. And I'm Wow, they actually bombed those SS units that were trapped in that pocket. <laughs> Aww. It's almost unfair. Okay, Le Mans has been reinforced with a small unit that doesn't seem to be worth much. If we punch through with armor, we'll be fine, I think. We still have supplies. We should have plenty of supplies once we um, set up our headquarters. There we are, that's it. And we are back in business. Let's look at Italy first, because I'm wondering how that went. Okay, they've they've, they've actually pulled back. Look at that. They've pulled back. And we need to get these guys into position here. The Nizes need to fill this gap. There we are. And then we'll punch through here. Start with that. There we go. Retreat it. Continue, and we'll be able to pull that flank in fairly quickly. about to uh, make a nice flank maneuver there it's perfect and we've got these headquarters units okay they're no longer a threat we're gonna take care of this they held what the hell really how did they do that no freaking way all right British infantry you should do it then they actually held have they been ordered to fight to the death or something? Um, okay. Hold on. Let's make this a uh, combined attack. There we go. Alright, we pushed him out. The Falschim Jaeger. Good job. I guess. They're now holding out on a freaking mountain. What we can pursue. Yeah, enjoy your time at the lake, boys. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to move this headquarters units up here because we need to reinforce those units. These units need to be served from here. There we go. And... Okay, we're moving to the right there, apparently. I'm going to move them over here. If I can. Um... Uh, yeah... No, I can't move them up here because there's a maximum amount of troops I can put in a single hex. There we go. Now at least our tanks on the flank here are in some way represented. Um, you know what? I should get these guys to an actual airfield. Do we have one? Is there an airfield here? Uh, Rieta British Airbase. Okay. Yeah. Totally. Okay, let's get them to turn with the train. Can we? No, we 
can't because of reasons. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, those units. Are those new? I think they might be. Neat. Let's get all these Indians in here. Um, yeah. There we are. Some nice Indian units, yes. There we go. Reinforcing that part. Moving this particular unit in here. And this unit as well. Got a tank unit here. Need a, a nice little bunch of power here. These defensive values though, they have me a bit worried. And okay, that's an Indian unit that actually belongs to the other group. I do believe. You can reinforce the flank on Ancona. There we are. Uh, we can get a lot of firepower here though. 25. So 57 is hard to beat. We're not going to beat that anytime soon. Do this. There we are. We have Polish. For some reason, these Polish have some beef with the <laughs> with the Germans. I wonder why. Uh, yeah, we'll be taking care of you s soon. You can you can flee into the lake if you want. If you feel like you need to flee somewhere, flee into the lake. Uh, this is clearly the weak flank right here. Look at that. We're gonna get rid of this mountain division if we can. Yeah, they retreated. Well done. Force them to retreat, and then we'll have the free French Moroccans and Algerians do their thing. Oops. Not want to do that. There we go. Nothing new there. Um, okay, apparently they don't have the ability to move anymore. What about you? Yeah, you could still move, but do we want to is the question. Oh, we have these special forces units. Eh. Move them into, into here. Nope. Alright. Eh, we could technically, but that will cost us. I don't want it to cost us. You guys are fine, I'm gonna say. Alright, we're pushing up to this line, but look at the defensive values here. It's ridiculous. We have issues with that. Priority is the movement values. I keep forgetting. I think the first number is the, is the defensive value. Or is it? How, how do we tell? Um, I'm really not sure. I'm I'm not gonna risk it because I have no idea what it's gonna do. There are just these mountaineers, though. We may be able to use those. Can we use the special forces guys with? Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Two thousand men, though. Against what? A shit ton of them? Yeah, I'm gonna say a lot of them. That's a lot of guys. Ah, wait a minute. We can move with this unit. Maybe. No. <laughs> we won't be punching this one in the face just yet. Um, and not this one either. No, we're gonna have to wait until we get these units dislodged so we can use them in our attack. And this here flank is just way overpresented. I don't think that's going to work out for us. Uh, back to Normandy. Because we can now go for what, Lichieux. I think so. Yeah, Lichieux. And also we need to punch through here-ish. We'll do that with uh, these uh, airborne troops. Send the running, boys. Shattered. There we go. What I like to see. 
Any more of that shattering going on? I think so. Retreat it. Well. Good job. Alright, we've got those airborne units taking the lead here in the uh, assault. Le Havre, of course, being our main concern. We need to get there quick. And we'll go with some infantry on that flank. And then go around Saint Martin. There we are, Semarton Depot has been captured. Cool. There we are, retreated. Retreated. Perfect. Can I move in here? Take our position here south of La Havre. And of course, we need to move our line up, so that's what we will do. There we go. Got these units also to move up to Summerton. And let's get rid of this. Retreat it. They retreat it east. And they route it. Even better. Alright, we're gonna just maintain that cohesion. Well, while well we can. Uh, let's move these troops down here. Yeah, you're far behind enemy lines now. Let's see. Let's get a, a nice punch in the face here for these guys. Surrender. There we are. That's what I like to see. All right. So, good good job, 101st Airborne, 82nd Airborne. They did their very best. They were supported by these British of the 51st, 51st which is excellent. Well done, gentlemen. We are now free to move towards Paris. Look at this, we got a free move towards Paris with the free French. And that's what we'll do. That is what we'll look at. Drew's. The Drew Depot has been captured. Free French for the win. Oh, look at that. And we've taken the south of Paris. Ha! 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 Top that AI. Let's get these tanks over here. We need more. Versailles needs to be secured. There we are. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. We do need to make sure that we don't get into trouble with these units though. So I'm gonna roll around their flank. Make sure that they don't cause us any trouble. Oh, whoops. That was across a river. It's never good. And of course they held. <laughs> Gee, what a surprise. Uh, moving. I guess we'll go from a Le, Le Mans with the 4th US Armored Division. Uh, armor there we go. Let's get them off. They held. Well, alright. That's okay. Um, yes. Saint Malo. I want to take Saint Malo as soon as we can. I'm gonna just move these guys up in a defensive position there. And maybe even slightly back. It would be good to take Saint Malo as well. Here, we can have a combined strength. Oh, this is gonna be enough. We held. Oh, come on, Canadians, really? All right, whatever. We're gonna get this uh, airborne unit to help you out with that. Okay, more armor. I suppose we should um, ensure that the Sand River really becomes. The bone of contention here. Something like this. We're moving into 
lot of jump ball. And this tank unit needs to uh, fall back towards its own unit. Which is okay. Still attack this. They held. <laughs> well done, I guess. Um, yeah. I think we'll move in like this. With these units. There's not much to our south, so. Retreat it. A well deserved retreat. There we go. We've got. Donjon de Rotru Depot. Held again. Come on, Corlay. I guess we should leave something at Ren. Yeah, these three infantry units, they're gonna support this attack on this side. It's actually not a bad plan, we'll do that. There we go. I'm pulling out the tanks. I'm sorry for anyone counting on the tanks to be here, but uh, we're leaving. <laughs> what else do we have here? Okay, La Rochelle, yeah. Send us there. Can we reach? We can reach that specific spot. We're gonna have to reach that specific spot. Now it's imperative that we get those supplies in because otherwise we won't. <laughs> simply. So let's uh, move them into a port where they can actually dismount. go you're back in business and we should be back in business at what is this Argentan? I think so I think it's Argentan isn't it yes Argentan okay nice all right these guys the first Polish armored division again Polish ready to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and they're all out of bubble gum. So Sank Malo is going to be captured by the Polish, or with the help of the Polish. Yeah, no, instantly. There we go. And we do need to get that headquarters unit out. I'm not quite sure how to do that just yet, but we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And we've got these people into Caranton. Caranton, where are you? There we go. They're off the ships. Good job. This headquarters unit definitely needs to uh, get off the ships. Definitely does. And I'm going to make sure they're close. There we go. That's near perfect. Put them up here so that they can actually supply. No, I guess Argentan is, a better, is the better option here. There we go. What else do we have? Oh yes, these guys. Do they have any equals? They do not. So there's no actual... Uh, the 79th US Infantry Division is sort of down here by itself. That's its headquarters units. I suppose we should get that to a port as well. Southampton. And get you off the train. And oh, that's them actually. Huh. Train them in to Southampton. Go on. There we go. I love the fact that there is now a spacebar feature that you can just skip the move altogether if you don't want to mess with it. Uh, wow. Okay, those free French are supposed to be supported by that unit, and it's very far off. We have to put them on a ship, otherwise they're going to get into some serious, serious problems. Worcester, get on the train. Towards, um, yeah, not Dover. Dover's doesn't seem to be very safe. I guess Bournemouth. Thirty thousand men, though. They're gonna need Portsmouth. I, I'm gu guessing. I'm guessing they're gonna need need to. I don't think they're gonna be. We can get them on a ship. Oh, we can. Oh my God, we can really. Um. Okay. Well, in that case, um. They're on a ship? Okay, but they have no more movements to actually get off the ship again. So, 
Good to know. Alright, okay. Any other units in desperate need of supplies? Um, yes, you definitely need to get off the boat, if you will. And you belong to that unit, so... Yeah, we're gonna move you towards... No, no, not like that. Move you towards that other unit. Towards your friends. We do actually need infantry down here, so that's good. You. You don't belong to anyone just yet, so you're just gonna chill and cheer, boar. Get off the boats. Of course, you can't just get off the boats there, so we'll have to move you to the actual... to here. Which is fine. There we go. It's too big. The port capacity is not enough. Got you into Khan. There we are. Now this unit is part of that army, so we also better get him off close to its other, to the other units here. The Sand Bay. Gentlemen, you are immediately in the forefront, so beware. We got you next to your HQ. There we are. Organizing this is key to our success. And we will have to get these guys to a an actual 90,000 men. Good God. That is a lot of men. Let's get them off here. If we can. If we are able. Oh God, no, we're not able. Ah. Don't have the strategic points. All right. Well, be that as it may. What are these guys? Oh God. Yeah, we better get them into Sherbor at least. Um, can we train you to Weymouth and then into the ships to, um, I guess so. Oh, I should have gone to Plymouth. Well, too bad. We're changing things here a little bit. You can actually get in there and get a Sherbor. Oh, that's actually an, a one trip. Oh, insufficient, oh, insufficient capacity to load. So now they're sort of exposed. That's bad. You understand that's bad, right? Yeah, okay. I think we got most of these. Um, yeah. And what about these tro troops here? 30th British Armored Brigade. Okay, and then there's these guys. They really do need to get to the other side as well. Um, we're going to try and get them to the other side. Which sounds really bad. But you know what I mean. <laughs> All this distance between people doesn't make for uh, for anything good. Come on, have enough. Have enough. Yes, you have enough. Great. And then there's this unit, which is the para supporting units. There we are. Supplies are flowing in. Finally. And there's these guys. They definitely need to get across. The army's counting on them. Here we go. Get off the ships. And there's this unit. Equally important. Insufficient capacity to load. Okay. Let's get them to Portsmouth then. I guess that's where we need to put them in the freaking boats and we'll load them next turn because I don't want to risk the, the thing I risked here is that they might get actually sunk although in this bad weather um, there is a chance of course that uh, like U-boats won't find them so we might as well we might as well go for this yeah okay insufficient port capacity which freaking port has the capacity then the, uh, what Southampton that it is that 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 the deal? I don't know. We'll mar we'll march them into Southampton. That's the biggest we have, I believe, after Portsmouth. Can we load them? Yes, we can. Okay, let's get them to Sherbor at least, or close to Sherbor. And we can't unload them. But that's fine. They're in the they're in the port. They're relatively safe, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Everyone's gonna get supplies. I'm so, so relieved. Okay. Everyone, next turn, everyone gets supplies. 
and we will be fighting the Germans on their new defensive line, which doesn't amount to much. I have to say Paris, they've got a good thing going in Paris. I'll give them that. But unless they have some way of overwhelming us here near the Seine, they're not going to stop us. And that's pretty awesome. Uh, Le Havre remains a point of, well, well a bit of worry. But uh, I have a good feeling we might be able to pull it off. This remains a little bit of a trench. And as we don't punch through here, this the only chance we have here is the left flank. The right flank is just way too strong. And I don't think we can punch through here. Oh, I wish I remembered. I'm going to have to look in the manual what the actual scores are that we're looking at. But if, as I understand it, these guys have ridiculously high defensive scores. Unless this is like their movement score. I, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Anyway, thank you all for joining me yet again. Please leave a like and or comment. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.